In the past couple of videos, I talked about getting work as a freelance photographer. But there's a whole different side of finding work as a photographer as a full-time photographer. There are lots of different companies and businesses that need people to be on staff as photographers. Think about journals and magazines and newspapers, websites that are news related. These people need photographers to keep up with the content of the day, day to day. There's marketing and communications department at practically every single big company out there and a lot of times they want an in-house photographer because it's too expensive to go out to a freelancer or to another agency to do photography every time. And then one other place where I've found success is at local colleges and universities. My first photography full-time job was at a college in California, in SoCal, and it was in their communications department. It was a small college, private school, only had about 50 workers and about a thousand students, but they still had a full-time photography need. And so now I work at the University of California, Berkeley, as a video producer, but there are two full-time photographers on staff there as well, and they're hiring a lot more freelancers to do work as well outside of that, but there's two freelancers that are two full-time workers that are doing photography all the time, covering events that take place at the school and all sorts of other things. And so there are lots of options for finding full-time gigs. And again, you can find these on the websites like Indeed, Monster, the typical places, but also by just looking at companies, websites in your area and seeing what they post to their own job board. But the big question is, do you want to work full-time? There's lots of pros and cons to it. I mean, let's go over the pros. You have consistent work you get might get benefits your salary is consistent so you don't have to worry about that and you know you'll spend a lot of time doing what you love photography but the cons are that maybe it's not as interesting as you would like to do maybe you don't like having to go to a nine to five job maybe you like working for yourself and you just have that entrepreneurial spirit and working full time is tough for people like like you so ask yourself that question do you want to work full time and if you do reach out to companies in your area and really hit up those colleges and universities because a lot of them are looking for full time photographers on their communications team Okay, so thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this section so far, and we'll see you in the next video.